confused. Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. So it is the weekend for us again. And we are out here working again. And if you guys can hear that in the background, Mike's on the tractor. Because we are trying to finish up our driveway today. We had gotten more millings, like you guys saw we ran out a couple videos ago. Finally got more. So we're finishing up the driveway by the barn. There was just a couple things that needed to be fixed just to make it a little bit bigger. And hopefully maybe this weekend we'll get some sod so that we can make around the barn look really pretty with the new grass. We'll see. But Mike is busy at work on the tractor. Of course, every weekend that tractor gets used a lot. We added a lot more of those stumps from up front to our burn pit. We gotta keep burning that. So that's exciting. And then we'll keep going with the driveway. So I do wanna show you guys something that I'm not really happy about. So here goes, I'm gonna show you guys. And I hope you guys are understanding of the situation. It's a very hard decision to make, but here goes. Do you guys see this? So it's Tommy, and he's outside, and I'm sad about it. So the other kitties, Bagel's over there. So meanwhile, I let the horses out. I'm gonna explain why Dami is outside, yes. You guys saw Dami outside. So why Domino is outside is because, and I guess I should say why I'm not happy about it, is because you guys knew when we brought Domino in from being a barn cat to being an indoor cat, that I had one rule. He would only stay as an indoor cat as long as he was happy because barn cats are a little bit different than indoor cats. They wanna be outside. That's their thing. That's where they feel the least stressed. Whereas like maybe an indoor cat would feel stressed outside because it doesn't know its way around. But an outdoor barn cat, it's, you know, cats aren't as domesticated as dogs in my opinion. So they know their way around. And Domino did great for a long time in the house. And like I said, Domino would go back outside when he was no longer happy in the house. And this past couple days, cause I tried to give him a couple days, maybe he was just off. But the past couple days, he was just not having it. Look at Blaze. What are you doing, you itching your chin? He was just not having it inside. He was super stressed. He was banging on the sliding glass doors. And what I mean by that, just like using his paws. Obviously, he's not banging and he's like acting like he's climbing them and stuff like that. Meowing all hours of the day. Like, doesn't matter the time. But he sits there at the sliders and he just cries and meows and then the biggest push that encouraged us to let him be an outside cat again until he wants to come back in of course you guys know how our barn cat situation is we let them in we let them out but the biggest push like i'm saying is that now the past couple days every time we let out one of the dogs or any times we walk out the door domino runs and he gets out and he gets past us and never since having him inside has he done this. Um, he'll look at us to go outside, but he's always been too afraid, you know, to go outside because I genuinely think for a while there he liked being an indoor cat. Um, and all of a sudden he's just maybe wanting to be back outside again. And literally this morning, because we just let him out today, we were outside and the neighbor's cat came over and the cats were kind of all just hanging out, doing the thing outside. And, you know, Mike said to me, maybe this is fun out here for them. And I was like, well, yeah, of course it's fun out here for them. They're barn cats. They love this. This is, you know, and then that we had a huge realization with Dami that this is his element at the end of the day. And if he wants to come back in and, you know, realize that maybe it wasn't his element like he thought it was anymore. But with him running out and all the signs that he's giving us, he's not happy inside. He's actually so stressed inside. And you guys always knew that my one rule was if he was happy inside, he would stay inside. But as soon as he was not happy inside, I would let him back out. Because it is selfish if my own needs of wanting him to make him be an indoor cat since i got him as a barn cat he's been a barn cat his whole life so that's kind of just where we're at you guys if he does stay outside you guys will see him more because usually i film outside because i'm outside most of my life um but whereas inside you guys don't see him as often so i don't know his plan for today but i thought it would be a good day anyways since we are going to be you know on our property all day i figured it would be the best time i see him now actually he's christening the backyard he's using the bathroom in the backyard i am heartbroken a little bit because i so badly wanted him to be an indoor cat you guys know i bought him a cat tower and things like that 
but it's okay. I want to make sure he's happy. But I just saw Dami running from the grass back into the patio, so he might be just staying close for a little bit, but I will definitely be anxious all day to make sure that he stays around and you know we'll see if he wants to come in tonight maybe i'll bring him back in tonight just so that he's not out because i'm very nervous about the night times with the cats i like to even let them be inside so we'll see how it goes <laughs> i'm gonna try to just continue to work the rest of the day here keep my mind busy because we have a lot to do around the farm so not that you guys know that because you'll probably see him in this vlog throughout outside figure we just get that out of the way and watch him together today so these are the last couple big like stumps from up front. So this is awesome. These are the millings. These millings though are not really my favorite. I'm not impressed by this stack of millings that we got. Because millings are supposed to be super fine. Almost like this area right here. Whereas like the rest of it's like not fine. It almost looks like rock. So oh well. But we really want to get this finished so that we can have the professional come in and grade it all out. But it's getting there. Bagel, you got a new buddy. And Bagel actually has never been fully outside with Domino ever because we got Bagel when Domino was an inside cat. You got right. So now you get a full time buddy out here. And what's kind of funny though is him and Dom don't really like fully get along. So they get along in passing, but they're not in love with each other, that's for sure. Hey, he's like, don't touch my tail, mom. Okay, fine. Are you mean? <laughs> Are you a mean bagel? All right, you guys, this is day two of this vlog. You guys technically last night saw us finished burning. So much got burned. I'm gonna show you that in just a minute, but I wanna show you guys in daytime, like what everything looks like, like the driveway and stuff like that. I absolutely love how it's looking, so I'm sure you guys will too. Well, I hope. So basically we are now obviously using the driveway, but this is what the driveway looks like. It looks so good, obviously. We still have the professional account. I feel like I keep having to explain that because it just looks like rocks right now. So we have it ended right here, obviously, because we need it more. But for now, this works because I really just wanted the driveway to work. And then this area right here that we put this extra rock here because we used to get flooded here a lot. And then we kind of thought of a good idea to put landscaping here. So I think that's what we're actually going to do. We're either going to mulch it or do a different rock and then put some plants here because we did have to take down our big oak. And we did like the oak, but we do like how open it is now. So we're thinking to do some landscape here. So I don't know, might do mulch, might do rocks, I don't know yet, but we have some of these big pieces that are sitting in here, of uh, these rocks from the asphalt millings that were just too big that we had to get out. So they're sitting there now. We cleaned up last night so much of the property. So there was something right here that came from the trailer when we sold it, so we finally got rid of that. This whole area is nice and cleaned off now. We don't have any of the picked up plants that we ripped out that all got burned. Um, we used to have like hog wire fencing that was over here, just sitting here a roll of it. We cleaned that up. So we've been able to clean up so much stuff. So we definitely did like a huge property cleanup so that this driveway worked. So I'm absolutely loving how everything looks. This is what the driveway looks like from right here. So it's really cool. Obviously this is all gonna become grass. We're actually picking up sod today to try to start to re-sod as much as we can. Mike is borrowing our neighbor's chainsaw because ours broke, so we need to chainsaw these. Try to get these out for the most of the way so we no longer have those anymore. But just coming back here, see we just have this little stump here. This stump was really hard to get out. Our tractor was even having a hard time getting it out. It just looks really good back here. It's starting to all come together. We yeah, obviously still need to finish our pump house, but let's see if I can zoom in enough. There is the burn pile right there. It's almost all gone, so that worked out really nicely. So just meeting up with Mike again so we can start chainsawing stuff, but I wanted to report in about Domino. Today was his second day out. We actually forced him to come in last night, so he stayed in at night. It was a total pain in the butt all night because he obviously wanted to be out. So that just proves theory here, but I wanted to not just have one day just to let him out and throw him out. So he was in last night. He wanted out early in the morning. We let him out again early in the morning. And then about 30 minutes ago, he popped up and wanted to go back inside. So just for a little bit. So he's inside technically right now, 
but I'm sure he's gonna wanna go out again. So his new thing is now, is to be just like the other cats. And I am trying to detach myself from it because that's what he wants and that's his happiest. So he's doing good, he's been staying around, he's walking over to my neighbor's house, I see him go that way, but as long as he comes back every day, I'm good. <laughs> so he's doing pretty good, but we need to continue working on the front of the property. So Mike is just putting the chain back onto this chainsaw. And as you can see why we still have these up here is because they're massive, like literally this huge, huge tree. So in retrospect, this is my hand. I can't even get the full shot. So just some of these big ones that are really heavy and the tractor would hold them, but we have to at least get them onto the tractor. So we've got these big ones in, and now we're gonna try to do another big one. So we're just going with the tractor over to Mike. See if we can get another big one in there. He's doing nothing. Where do you want me? Hold on, do you like where I'm at? All right, you want me to drop it down now? More? Good? All right. We're getting them gone, you guys. We got these big ones. And the chainsawing was just taking so long. So like we've been cleaning up and there is Dami. It's so hard to see him out here. Every time I look and I see him, I'm like, oh, he's supposed to be inside, but he's really enjoying his life. It seems. So we took almost all of the logs. We just have these two giant ones left that we have to continue to chainsaw, but we've got the rest gone. So this is very exciting. Ah, it's me. I literally did not like when these were up here. Just one of them gone and they're finally almost gone. Yay. So we just gotta get those two big ones and we'll be good to go for our tree that's gone now. Hi boys. Hi Mike. Hi. They are seeing what we have in the bed of the ranger. Watch out, Lulu! Okay, she's following us, thinking we have goods, but we don't. <laughs> Bye, boys. So we have our fire going because we have been cleaning up the front like you guys saw. So we are actually, because this fire is pretty hot, we are gonna let the boys go up front to the front pasture. They are excited to go. Front. They actually think that they're probably eating, but we're just gonna let them right out. Through. Come on, guys. They're gonna be so confused. Wow, they understood that. Okay. It's like they knew what we were trying to tell them to do. Come on, slow pokes. Oh, Blaze is like, wait, I'm confused. They're confused. He's like, how'd they get out there? There you go, Trigger. Blaze, you're a little bit of a knucklehead. And they're all probably gonna run because they haven't been out to this pasture in a while. Yep, here they go. Yeah, he's moving. They're gonna love it up here for right now because the grass is so nice and it's just, they haven't been up here in a while, so they're gonna play. <laughs> And if I walk up here, they're gonna continue to run because they're gonna think that I'm trying to catch them, even though I'm not, but you know, the mind of a horse. All right, so they are very happy up here with all this green luscious grass. And you guys, this is exactly why we do rotational pastures so that they have really good grass all the time, technically. So Louie's like, nope, don't even come near me. I'm not going back over there. Cashy. Hi, Bubba's. He says, nope, you are not gonna catch me. I don't wanna catch you. <laughs> Bye, ponies. All right, well, we'll let them be up here and we'll continue working. So it's getting pretty dark, but Mike's just grabbing our light, but we got our pallet of sod. Guys, this literally weighs 2,500 pounds. Like, we did not realize how heavy this actually is. But now we're gonna start to lay it in front of the barn, so it's gonna look so good. I'm so excited. We're laying it all right here, and then up over in that area. We'll see how much we actually get done tonight, just because it's getting pretty dark. We still have to feed and everything like that. So we just need to get our light. Our fire is smoking over there. So we're doing pretty good. I'm super excited about this, because I wanna see how it looks so badly, and then I'll put some landscaping right here. So I'm just excited. 
I hate all the dirt just because it just looks very incomplete to me. And we got our two little helpers here, Mishka and Crazy. Like I said, we just got the light. So we have a little bit better light situation here, but I feel like they're getting blinded. Can you guys move? Because your little poor eyes are just getting blinded by this light. You guys look like shadows because you guys are black little kitties. Hi, Mishka. Do you like that Dommy's back out here with you? <laughs> He's like, don't touch me. It's okay. Also, you guys, I just want to make sure we take a good before look. And then we'll do an after look once we're done. All right, you guys, so this is the after. It looks so good. I'm so happy with it. I'm gonna definitely show you guys in the morning when we have the natural sunlight out, but it's been getting watered. It looks so cool. I cannot wait to see it in the morning because just like you guys right now, I'm seeing it in the dark and I don't have the full effect, but even so, it just looks amazing. And it looks exactly like that picture that I showed you guys when we were telling you about the 2021 20, farm plans. So super exciting. I'm so excited for this. So now we just have to move our light set up here and we're gonna move it to right here because we're gonna start this area right here in front of the gate and all right here lining basically the driveway because that's all fresh new dirt. So I'm super excited. We still have a lot of sod left. I don't know how far we'll get, um, but we do have a good amount left. So we will see, I'm very excited. All right, you guys, it's getting pretty late, but this is the rest of the sod that we had. We didn't have much left, but it got us this far. It looks really good. So yeah, Mike did a great job. He did most of this. Honestly, he did most of all of it because I started to get attacked by all the ants and I get really bad reactions to ants. So basically, this is what we got because of Mike. So super happy about this. Now we are getting everybody ready to come into their stalls. Guys, we officially ran out of our hay. So we do have another 100 bales coming in like two days. But right now we're giving them three string alfalfa right now. So in between of us getting our ONA, which is what we get within the 100 bales, I like to give them just some alfalfa and then I go back to the ONA. Look who it is. Hi, Dommy. You love being outside? Oh my goodness. So it's the next morning, you guys. I am coming outside here so get how interesting this is so last night when we were watering the grass as you guys saw it was pretty late and I and Mike and I made a joke like we just need a good rain for our new grass and oddly enough because this is so weird we haven't had rain in a good while now we got a good rain last night so um, Mike and I came out here early in the morning and we started laughing because we were like it rained we asked for it to rain there's puddles on the ground it rained so i want to show you guys today what the grass looks like it looks so good i'm so happy about it so let me show you let me turn my camera around all right so front of the barn and then we'll just casually go on over this way and check it out you guys it looks really complete it's coming together i know it's so weird because it's a little patch of grass but if you just look at the barn the driveway just looks like official formal driveway now because we have this grass right here so I'm so excited about this. Looks awesome. So if we wanted to set up like a little fire pit or something right here, or just, you know, like a hangout area, we could. And then when we have the pavers in over there for the wash rack, it's just gonna look even better. I'm so excited. We wanna get the grass done first 
and then do the pavers and then we'll do the inside wash rack. I think that's kind of like how we're doing it now. <laughs> it's kind of where we're at with our system. So this is just a little bit that we had yesterday from that pallet of sod that we got. So this is just what's left right here of it. This turned out really nice. I like how it looks against the other grass. So I'm excited about this. So we just need to get um, a couple more pallets because we're just gonna keep going all this way, all over here, and then to meet up with that grass over there so that it can just encourage all this grass because this has just been driven over so long because when we had the shed here, everyone would just drive along here. And then we obviously put new dirt down too. So looking at from over here, like, look at how cool this looks, you guys. Here, let me even cut off, like, look at Dami. Whoa. <laughs> so if we just cut off right there where there's no more grass, check that out. It looks so cool. Tommy. Whoa, see ya. <laughs> My goodness. Anyways, so like I said, we have to just sod all this over here. Look at him. He's totally in his element. He's crazy. So then we'll probably sod to about here and then we're actually just gonna seed to right over here because there is grass over here. It's just blotchy so we can seed and this grass will help grow this way. And then pretty much just up here too in this area because we drove over it so much when we didn't have technically the defined driveways. And then where the trailer was, that's all growing back. We might just put some fertilizer there just to encourage it because there is grass popping up. It's just not very quick. And then right here in this area, I'm not sure exactly if we're gonna seed it or sod it. We could seed it because there is some little sprouts growing with grass. We'll see how it goes. But I'm really excited. It's really coming along, it looks really good. Got all the cats with me today. But you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. Thanks for coming along my little weekend with me because this was just like a weekend vlog that turned into a lot of things, like Dami being back outside in the wild. My heart is trying to get over it. We're doing good, he seems so happy out here. So I'm very happy for him. But if you guys liked today's video, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance to my post notification shout out. And today's shout out goes to, are you guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.